So I could park in the slot too. But you need insurance, and I don't have insurance. <coughs> So I put together this little uh, system. I bought these rings off of off of uh, the strapworks.com, and it's it's just two rings. This this ring pretty much just holds the end, and then this ring, uh, yeah, it goes around. So pull it through. It's on and off quite easily, and then I got a nice handle. I just trying to. I think I need a longer strap so I can have them uh, both together, so I can have more of a straight on. Right now, I'm just kind of stuck with this. Let me just say too, I I don't these handles were not designed for what I'm trying to do. Alright. They they like to cinch up. So that's really annoying. I like the fat the, the, the foam, the pad, but cinches up too much. It's it's too loose. You know these people who say they're going on diets and end up just cutting sugar out of their their uh their eating habits? That's not going on a diet. That's that's sobriety, okay? That's saying you're going sober, all right? That's the problem with the, how people are wrongly defining a need to cut back on extracts, on sugar extracts to be more exact. It's just like cutting heroin out of your diet or cutting cocaine out of your diet, okay? It's, it, you say you're going on a diet by, take, by cutting back on other drugs okay they're all extracts sugar is an extract it's a drug and you don't just go on a diet to cut it out you sober you sober up all right you work on on sobriety because that sugar those extracts especially the high fructose corn syrup are influencing how you think i mean it's affecting your hunger of course it uh, the it gives you it gives you that pleasure, all right, the instant pleasure. That's why a lot of people are doing it. That's a drug. You don't go on a diet to cut that out, all right. You, you sober up, all right. And we can all tell who is under the influence of that drug because the side effect is obesity. That's one of the most clear. Um, side effects out of all the drugs that uh, make it easy to tell who's the most addicted to to sugar all right so you don't go on a diet you sober up simple as that to me is it simple to these guys excuse me excuse me i noticed uh, more of my videos are losing out on uh, monetization i think that might be uh, community reporting on uh, my videos to uh, cause them to lose monetization so you're doing a good job keep up the good work whoever it is so this is supposed to be the CT Moore Park looks like they're trying to generate some kind of power got a man sleeping on the park bench
I really, I had to pass on that gallon of milk because my back is hurting me. My lower back where the spine meets the hips is from carrying things the wrong way. And now I, I, I want to get back to my car about four miles away, so carrying a gallon of milk just doesn't make any sense. Okay, since, since I'm worried about my car, I'm just going to go back to it. Alright, the library is 10 o'clock right now. The library here in Boise is open, but I'm more worried about my car. <clears throat> now that I got uh, complaints and cops showing up. <clears throat> I'm thinking maybe I'll go to the Hillcrest Library, which opens at noon. Uh, when I get to my car, I probably will. It'll probably be a good half hour before I get to my car because I'll walk and bicycle in combination. My back, I just it hurt a little bit just just a second ago. <laughs> I'm amazed how these giraffes are adapting to being caged up. I mean, they're getting like put in that building overnight and into the daytime till about like 10. Blackberries are in season right now. And in Idaho, this is the only way you're going to get them. The only way. One of the reasons that Idaho may be so focused on work and working, getting people back to work, is because it's such a desert wasteland. Alright, there's nowhere you can go out in the woods and just pick um, natural wild berries, fruits, nuts, whatever. There's nowhere, all right? It has to be intentionally grown, intentional. Humans have to get in there and plant it because nothing that's very edible survives on its own. Yes, there were, there were salmon in the rivers at one time, but that has to be highly regulated. <laughs> Somebody talked about last year how salmon were dying because of the heat. The water was too warm, it killed off a lot of salmon in the river, and I think they were the farmed salmon too. It's pathetic. 
but Idaho has a different attitude. They're gonna think differently than a lot of the nation because it's such a wasteland. You can't just go into the woods and find wild edibles. It's just not natural. The best natural things are sparse at best. Sagebrush and, you know, the few little critters running around. And as the Indians said, they saw uh, deer on every hilltop. Well, ever since the covered wagons, that stopped. So you can't just go on into the woods. It's not that easy to find anything. And that gives it, that shapes people's minds around here. You're not thinking, oh, let's go out and get some berries in the woods. You're not thinking about that in Idaho. It's just not a possibility. So when it's not an option, you're not thinking about it, that's gonna change the way you think about things. When you look at the license plate, when it says scenic Idaho on all of them, the way I interpret that is that you can see for long distances, okay? There are no forests, so you can see for very long distances. It's one of the benefits of Idaho. The forest does not get in the way of your view, all right, of all the hills and stuff, unlike you know, Washington and Oregon. So it's scenic in that way. You can see you can see the hills for long distances. And up on top of the hill, if, if it's not private property, which is hard to find. I wonder if Boise County held on to my uh, tow truck money, that $360, because they're just anticipating a lawsuit. And they figure, what the heck, we gotta save all the money we can to fight this, to fight a potential lawsuit. But uh, I don't know where to begin for that.